Hi, my name is Jasmine, and today my goal is to inform you on how to make candles, starting with measuring the candle wax to cut in the candle wick. We all use candles reason for different reasons, such as making our room smell better, using them on altars, or from a remembrance for somebody who has passed away. No matter what your reason is, have you ever sat back and wondered how are candles actually made? Well, I'll tell you today in 10 easy steps. So some things you're going to need is fragrance oils, derby boilers, wicks, candle containers, thermometers, pencils, and also soy candle wax. I prefer soy candle wax because it has much of a cleaner burn than paraffin wax and it's also more environmentally friendly than, candle, than uh, paraffin wax. So the first thing you do for the candle making is you're going to want to measure your wax. So when you measure your wax, you're going to want to measure it by you want to double it by the size container. So if you're using an 8 ounce container, you're going to want to use 16 ounces of candle wax. And you're going to always do this because when the wax condenses, it's going to be, you know, it's only going to fill up halfway if you don't double it. So, so you, that's why you always double your wax so you can have a full container of wax, not a half container of wax. So now that you've correctly measured your wax out, you're going to want to put it in your double boiler and melt it for about 10 to 15 minutes. So while this is melting, you want, you're going to want to put your fragrance oil in this also. And so you can use about 5 to 15 drops of fragrance oil, depending on how loud you want your candle to smell. 5 is like a nice aroma. It won't smoke the whole entire room, but it'll just have like a nice little scent that you can smell. And then 10 drops is like you're going to make that whole entire area smell how that candle smells like it's going to linger for a couple days maybe it's a very strong and vibrant smell and this can also depend on the size of your candle so sometimes 10 won't work in a big candle you may need to go to like 15 or 20 who knows so it all just depends on the size of the container and how loud you want your candle to smell so now that you've melted and added your fragrance oil, you're going to now put this to the side and let it uh, thicken and cool down for a little bit. So while you're going to let that sit, you're going to get your candle container and you're going to take your wick and you're going to want to stick your wick directly in the middle of the sensor in the, in the candle container. And you're going to want to make sure it's secure. Make sure it is secure because if it's not secure, it'll probably be ruined. So just make sure you... Hold it down for like about 10 to 15 seconds to make sure it actually has a grip on that candle container. And so now that you've made sure that your wick was secure, you're going to take your candle wax and you're going to make sure it's at 140 degrees Fahrenheit or lower. Don't want it to be too hot for the glass or your candle container because it may break or it may be too hot for you to hold and handle. So you're going to want to always make sure that it's at a, de at a decent temperature. So now that you've made sure that your candle is at a decent temperature and you poured it in there, you're going to now want to take those pencils we were talking about earlier. Take two pencils and put them on both sides of the candle wick to make sure it stays in place while the candle is hardening and cooling. And the reason you do this is because, say for instance, those pencils weren't there, the wick could... Uh, deform it could bend over and do crazy things so you always put the two pencils there to hold it in a straight center form and so now that you've done that you're gonna let the candle cool and become hard a solid again and that'll take about six to 24 hours so you're gonna let it sit there I'd say just let it stay for 24 hours make sure it's cool all the way through and so once it's all the way cool, you can now remove the pencils and now you're going to cut your wick. And so you're going to cut about four to five inches long. And so once it's cut, you can now burn your candle or store it for, uh, for you to burn it later. So that's how you make a candle. It's very simple and fun. And that's all you do. So thank you for watching. Bye.